It's so tiny. You could just. Yeah. Just finished packing for everything for NAIC. Found a flight for just under two hundred dollars. It was through Spirit, of course, so I only get to bring my backpack. So I had to pack light, but everything is great. I'm very excited. And every time I do a regional vlog, I always set goals to like day two and all this stuff. This is the first international championships I've ever been to. Um, it's a lot more high stakes, a lot more players. So I don't want to have any pressure like that because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So I just want to have fun and I want to see Pikachu. Those are my two goals. If I'm not having either of those, this was a failure. I also just learned that the Pokemon Center is at the event so I'm gonna lose all of my money so if you could like like this video so I could get like eight cents of ad revenue that'd be great you're my best friend but um also just finished filming something with Lauren over here we had a little pack battle um, I don't want to show you too much but uh, she kicked my butt um, she pulled an all art I'm, I'm mad <laughs> I did not win <laughs> I just got dropped off at the airport. Got about like an hour and a half before my flight. We're hoping uh, there's a lot of flights that are getting canceled and I'm really worried that I'm gonna be one of them. They've made me change gates like four times now, which is fine. I, I get everything's like a mess right now because of the world, but I don't want to have come this far just to have it ruined because of a canceled flight. I worked too many doubles for this to go wrong. Also, so I didn't bring a carry-on um, because it's expensive on Spirit. I did sneak stitch and I'm hoping that they're not gonna make me pay extra because I have my backpack and him. So, <laughs> fingers crossed this goes well. But yeah, it's not been delayed yet, still says we're good. I just had to go to the other side of the airport. At least I'm skinny now. Are you really going to a Pokemon tournament if you aren't like freaking out and having a midlife crisis about what deck you're playing? Cause... Oh, I'm not freaking out. I'm just trusting I'm people and that's a bad idea. Okay, well screw you guys. I also have my emotional support his seaweed girl with and he's adorable. I have my ESA animal Stitch and he told me to play Worms. That's a different Stitch. It is. I stuck it on spirit because um, it wouldn't fit in my backpack. So I just like kind of hid it under my left side and just hoped that they wouldn't catch. Worms. Anyways. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, I think this is the 60 I'm gonna send. I really just, Matt, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. He gave me all his cards for Palkia over here, but I just, I don't feel good going into a field of just Palkia hate. And I feel confident that I can take out all the Muse with this list, except for Riley, I'll have to scoop to her because she has too much dirt on me. <laughs> I was gonna explain how to do this deck, but I'm just gonna let Future Tyson do that when I'm home. <laughs> Because I don't feel like it right now, so take it away, future Tyson. Hello, past Tyson. This is how my deck works. So you have a 4-4 line of Zoroark. Zoroark has this ability that says Phantom Transformation. It basically allows you to pick any stage 1 that you have in your discard pile and switch it with Zoroark as long as you discard every card attached to Zoroark. That's why we play all these random stage 1s and not their basic Pokemon. Because we discard them using Quick Ball, Ultra Ball, or literally anything that I can find to get them there. And then switch it out with Zoroark depending on the matchup. We have the Worms for extra typing against weaknesses. Two Mill Tanks. Um, just against decks that don't have an out to mill tank makes it super easy and Snorlax because early game We don't really have a lot of attacks So it's nice to just kind of put him in the active position and just Gorman dies and draw up to seven cards whenever we feel like it We have my Diana that just bodies Mew if there's a VMAX in play you attack for free and it does 160 and it's dark We have a Glissapod that does 50 more for each um, V Pokemon in play which pretty much every deck plays three or four so Nice. And then we have Appleton and Flapple. They both attack for one colorless. Um, that's the only attacks that are relevant. We have this one that does 50 for each ability that your opponent has in play, which is really nice against Palkia. We have Thick Mucus on Appleton, which is great against like Blissey and the Regigigas group. So that's pretty great. The strategy is to just discard all the Pokemon and put it back in. I hope this didn't take too long. Good luck, Past Tyson. All right, now that he's done that, look at this pile. It's probably trash. I probably went 07 drop, so he was probably crying explaining this to you. But I'm gonna take this and hopefully make my first day two. You're very charismatic. Yeah, I got that. I got that Amazon discount. All right, Riley's full sending Mew. Oh, I just picked it up. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> she only has the one card, unfortunately. So if you have the other 59 and you're here, please send it over. <laughs> she doesn't even have the basic Mews, so. This TV is so tiny. I know. <laughs> but it's like fine, right? <laughs> it's fine. We can get by with it. So, um, we're having a bet from... No, we're not. 
look at this view. You can't really see because it's dark, but I could definitely survive if I jumped this. So like, smash that like button and Venmo me eight dollars if you think I could survive this. And if you don't think I could, Venmo me twelve bucks. Just finished checking in. Um, because my flight got delayed, I was here so late. I wasn't able to do it early, so I just did late check-in, which is fine. Got here early enough, but this is more important than anything else. Look how freaking adorable that is. It's cute Coco. I'll have to go check these out later, but, and they actually uh, have not opened up the Pokemon Center just yet, but there is a ginormous line. It goes around like a few, few corners. Um, Obviously, I've never been to an internationals before. This is very souped in. I guess it's just getting worse. Uh, only been to a few regionals um, and locals, obviously. So I've never been to a place that this. I've never been to a place that's this big. Uh, I believe there's just over 1,300 masters for the TCG game. So just you know, a couple people. No, no big deal. Uh, I'm just here to hug Pikachu. I don't really care about anything else. Also, hold on. What is this generic white man doing? What is this? What is this? Oh, hello. Why is she kinda... I just got my loot, well, uh, I'll open that up when we get inside the venue, but I'm gonna go see if I can find my friends, because they all checked in early, because they had an earlier flight, so I think they're in line, or they might actually be in the venue now, so I'm gonna go get in line right now. I'm like freaking out, there's no stakes, I'd have to get second or first to qualify for a world, so I'm just going in and having fun. I'm playing a deck that obviously isn't super great. I just want to have a good time. I'm just excited to be here. This is so cool. So me and Riley decided instead of going to the Pokemon convention, we were gonna go on a school trip with a bunch of five-year-olds. So the teachers lined us up outside. Um, <laughs> um, apparently there's just, okay, thanks truck. Apparently there's just, you know, so many people and not enough bag checks that they, and literally a fire hazard for too many of us to be waiting in line. So they sent us outside. I think we've only been waiting for like 20 minutes. Um, I, you know, I live at Disney World, so obviously this isn't a huge deal to me, but um, Riley is melting because she's the witch. Um, so I, please pray for her. I heard if you Venmo me 35 bucks, she might live. So just, just a reminder. I could have died already by this point. Yeah, she could have died, so you, you, you better, dead. yeah, you better hurry and send it double so that she can come back from the dead. But, oh, look, you can kind of see inside the one of the vendor stores, you can see yeah, a bunch can of- see Pikachu's oh. butt. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> there goes my content. Make sure to block Riley on all social media. That's bad. Actually, that's a good idea, you yeah. should do that. Don't listen to her album, it's okay, she'll never drop it. I already dropped it. Nope. Not existent. Look how big they are! Oh, it's over. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a ginormous luggage just to take this home. They're so cool! I think it only goes around one more corner and then we're inside. Thankfully it's not too hot outside, so we're gonna be okay. Yes, one more corner. This is the pre-corner to get into the line for the line to get into the line around the corner. By the way, player meeting starts in five minutes. And if we don't get there, we get a round one last. So everyone's gonna start the day off 01 except for like the person that got here at 4 in the morning. <laughs> Good for them. Somehow Evan's so already the inside. Staff. Yeah, Evan is inside. Good for him. This is the best day of my life. Look at this. Oh, get out of the way, Riley. Look at this. <laughs> Every time I saw a vlog on YouTube with that giant Pikachu. Pop that one. I want to so bad. Can I go take my photo with him? We should oh, look at the like... Eevee. I don't care. I'll drop. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. You know, maybe one year when I'm not as excited, I'll record better content for everyone. But for right now, here's more like little kid screams because I'm giggling so hard. So these are the, like the spectators that can come play like games of any kind over here. Like N64 looks like Coliseum or Pokemon Snap. This is so exciting. Looks like uh, round one is already up. There's two different pods. I believe it's blue and yellow. Um, they missed a huge shot to do Scarlet and Violet, but like, that's whatever. I don't even know if you can hear me because there's dramatic music. I feel like I'm about to get murdered. It's so cool. Holy crap. Look at him. Does the winner get to take that home? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. And then like, runner up gets that one. Okay. Okay, well I think that's like top 32. 
Look at little Evie. Oh, this is so cool. I'm obsessed. Well, I guess I should probably go find my table, right? Because it's round one's already started, because we're a little late. Just got finished with round one, but I promised my roommate I would take a ginormous photo in front of the EV thing. I didn't. I just wanted to stand in front of here. <laughs> my photo was super nice. It was uh, such a fun round. It was against Arceus Duraladon, um, which is a great matchup for me, except for the fact that, um, yeah, I hit everything he needed to when he needed to, which was really great. So I actually am O1. Um, I just couldn't keep up. He uh, found Hyper Potion and DTE off of like two cards with Bird Keeper, and just Bird Keeper was MVP for him because he had to find so much every time, and he just always kept finding it. So kudos to him. Um, he did pray before his match, the match. Uh, so I gotta figure out what religion he's a part of because I need to I need to get on that. That man did not miss. I don't know who everyone else is doing. I don't really care. Um, honestly, if I, would, I, if I really cared about winning, I wouldn't have been playing Worms. I just really thought it would be fun. I just want to go closer now to this ginormous Pikachu because... Hold on. Do you think if I do good enough, they'll let me take it home? Look at the size of this thing. They, everyone was telling me like when you go to a regionals or an, like an international it's gonna be a lot bigger than regionals and I was like sure I guess like I believe that but it can't be like that much bigger I'm trying to film most of it but I can't even get everywhere fast enough so that's crazy I am you it's the same thing as regionals though I have to go six wins two losses and a tie to make it into day two um, unfortunately though in, uh, in internationals people don't like to ID because there's so many people IDing pretty much like makes it so you can't top eight. So everyone that wants to win is gonna try and play it out. So pretty much like you, if I, if I lose the next one, I have to just win seven in a row, which is gonna be unlikely because I lost to one of my favorable matchups um, and I lose to like pretty much anything that heals because I two shot everything. So if Arceus has gun sparse in play, I lose. I also pride um, my fighting worm at damn. And that's how you take the knockout against their Arceus because they don't play the Dunsparce in the Duraludon matchup. Um, which really sucked. So, but I took a risk and only played one. I, I'm high rolling. I'm playing a very not consistent list. But I thought might as well do it. But um, the, the more consistent deck won there. And it, as it should have. I have my goodie bag. I'm going to see if I can find my friends before I show everything off about it. But it's really hype. Like, I definitely, you know, got, you paid 60 bucks as a master to register, and you definitely got your money worth out of that, so, kudos. We'll win out. <laughs> Remember when I said this place was huge? There's a whole nother section that I missed. Civic Will! Oh my gosh, he's so cute. This is amazing. And then there's the other ones, but they don't matter as much. It's ginormous. I haven't even made it all the way down there yet. I also guess I want to just clarify, I have a good match against Arceus Raladon if it's not the turbo healing version. Um, because he played four Hyper Potion, four Crystal Path. If they're playing the version where it's like Collapse Stadium and not, like maybe one Hyper Potion, I'll be okay. But he was playing a lot more and that is a rougher matchup for me because I need to two-shot the Duraludons to keep up. But if I hit it for 190 with my Mighty Enna, because that's the only way I can take a knockout because I only play Special Energy. Um, and he just goes Hyper Potion and Stadium, which he found. Um, I mean, he played a research, so he had some in cards, but like, it was just, it's just really hard to keep up, so. I think that's pretty great. There's a ginormous Piplup over here. I can't actually walk in this area because it's like, people are actually playing, like, the people are playing. I think I can sneak around, though. I think I, I think I lost pretty quickly, so I feel like there's a little bit of time in the round, so. Look at this ginormous Piplup. I'm gonna take it home with me. Grizzile! I know I'm not the only person that's vlogging this tournament, but I feel like everyone just kind of stares at me. They're like, what are you doing? Bad people can vlog too, okay? Leave me alone. So over here, this is where the spectators go. Uh, it's gonna get a little loud, so if you can't hear me. I'm really sorry, but I want to show this area off. And I don't, I'm not the kind of vlogger that does like montages over my 
if you want a montage of this place, I'm sure every other content creator is doing that. But like, look at this. This is insane. I don't think TCG has started quite yet. Uh, I think we don't start until like round four, but it looks like Pokemon Go has started, uh, as well as the video game. And Pokemon. I don't know why TCG doesn't start, but this is really exciting. And then obviously all the spectators. This place is ginormous. I walked like 18,000 miles. And for COVID, you can't sit next to each other unless you're in the same party, I believe. Which is a really like, you know, it's a great thing. It's kudos. I will respect Pokemon. Make sure that everything goes as safe as possible. But like, look at this. This is insane. This is so cool. And then they have the casters up there. Um, I don't want to get too close because I don't want to bother them. But uh, that's just super cool. This place is amazing. The thing that I like most about internationals other than regionals is that you get an actual trophy. I want one so bad. I'm gonna... I'd rather have the world one because it's a ginormous Pikachu trophy rather than those. So, next year we're going hard. As long as pups come back. If, if pups and challenges don't come back and they stay with regionals only for getting a uh, championship points, it's just hard because like, it's very expensive. So... But I can't imagine they wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's just random little like cutouts of all the Pokemon around. This is so cute. I'm gonna force Riley to just take pictures of me everywhere I go. Listen, I only, I think it's only fair that they let me take one of these things home with me. I don't know why, I don't have a good reason as to why they should let me, but they should. Okay, I think round two might be starting soon, so I'll talk to you later. Just got done with round two. Uh, it was against Mew VMAX, and actually I was poised to lose the first Rattler game because I prized my Mighty in it. I just couldn't stop laughing because I was like, what, is, what are the, like, what are the odds? Like, that's so unlucky. But, uh, my opponent, there was a point where I only had one Zoroa on the bench because I, I prized my Mighty in it and another Zoroa. And that's on me for not counting my Zoroas. So I didn't have two in place, so if he bossed that last one, I didn't actually have a way to, like, respond with anything. But he saw my mill tank, and I kind of baited, I, like, I put the mill tank down, and was, like, trying to say, like, oh, you can't knock this out. I didn't say anything, I was just hoping that he would, like, and he ended up bossing a mill tank and killing that instead of my Zorua. And, um, I was able to take a knockout with Glizzapod, find my My Deanna and my other Zorua, and go from there. And then game two, he didn't actually know what My Deanna did. Um, he's, uh, he was from uh, Paris? Somewhere in Europe, I don't want to lie. Um, so, there was a little heart of communication, but he was so sweet, a really nice guy. Um, and remember how I said this convention was huge? I can't find my friends. I have no idea where they are. Our game went a little longer than normal because I didn't have my Deanna. I had to, like, try and, like... That's time. Like I said, it lasted very long, so I was gonna say time's about to start. <laughs> or time's about to be called. So I have to go into round three, but 1-1 one, one on the day, not really like, I'm just here. Um, I, I'm not gonna drop at all. I might, I might consider dropping if everyone else drops out, but I wanna stay here as much as possible. Just, I know I've done this a million times, but just like, this is just so pretty. I wish I could spend more time here. It's so cool. I, I'm wrapping my EV mask today. Um, bring good luck. Um, I know Riley's 0-1, Darren's 1-0, Matt's at a wedding because he sucks and I don't know about anyone else. So, wish me luck. All right, round three got finished. Riley, how are you? I am one, one, and one. What'd you play third round? Most importantly, who? Shout out to Jake Harpster. I played against Reggie. Sweet! And now I'm really hungry, so I'm going to get- It is lunchtime. I unfortunately played against um, Special Energy Hate with Mewtwo V Union, which also can spread 16 uh, damage counters whenever it likes. So. My deck's already bad, uh, and that just kind of crapped it, wouldn't I? Go get that before I know, I need that pip love. Oh if we don't make it, should we just spam day two events until we get one of them? Absolutely. Let's go. Uh, I, so I'm 1-2, Riley's 1-1-1. One, one, one. Um, basically, I can't lose anymore, but I, I'm playing Worms, so that's a mighty tall order to ask for. Um, I don't know how everyone else is doing. I think Nick Hackerboard's 3-0 with Mew. Evans 2-0-1. Do you know what he's playing? Uh, let's see. Let's see. No, I lied. Arky is Shaman. Ar oh, right. I beat him, but I had my... It's a good deck. Apparently. Uh, Heatran is also apparently at the top table. 
Being able to do 280 is pretty good. Who knew? Who knew? It's gotten busy. Ooh, the Pokemon Center. Is that open now? I don't know. Let's go get food first, then yeah, we'll swing back. Okay. Well, bye. All right, we just got finished lunch. We got went to this like Italian. No, it was uh, just some kind of like. Well, I thought it was just like a sandwich place, but it turned out it was a bar. But the server was nice and let us just get our stuff to go. It was really. I got an Italian sub and it was really good. But now we're here. We have about 20 minutes before our next round starts, and so I'm gonna check out the Pokemon Center. Um, Ooh, you there. There's another one. Um, there's another vendor right here. I'm really excited. I'm about to spend all of my money, but truthfully, don't care. I'm just ready to blow all of my money. Riley's rich, so she'll bail me out. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. Look at all the little cute plushes. Oh, they're only ten dollars. The small ones are. The, the Growlithe I got was sixteen. Oh, okay. Ooh, do I want? I already have a play mat that says. Okay, but that's the play mat. I like the navy way better. Oh, that's cool. Dang, I don't know. Oh, and they have Eevee stuff. Oh, this is hard. Riley, how rich are you? Huh? Just kidding. Bro. It's not super big, but like they have cute stuff. I think, I think I have to. Oh my gosh! <gasps> They're best friends. I think I'm gonna buy this. You're not getting this? I don't have a way to take it home with me. But look, oh my gosh. That's so cool. I'll take three. <laughs> wow. I was thinking of a switch paint. I don't actually have one. Oh, heck yeah. They're like, I think they were 20. Yeah, they're 20. Like they're <gasps> oh, wait, that's so cool though, because I'm dumb. It like tells you what like I think the new games actually tell you now. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's like really nice. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Um the shirts as well. I don't think I really care about a shirt. Look at Rollins. Oh shoot, I should have picked one up I'm for the wall. I'm so glad I got one yesterday. I figured all the cute stuff was gonna get snatched up pretty quickly, but oh well. I got the, Ooh, that's the hoodie. Yeah, how much is it? 55. That's not bad. Yeah, it's actually like not bad. I might pick it up. It's very thin, and I would not wash it much because um, the yeah. skin will come off. I think I'm gonna get... wash it inside out. Do you wanna go ahead and get it now? I'm gonna get a large, I think that's good. Thank you for Riley for giving me the, the busted tips. Also this hat. Oh, that is cool, but I just already have like enough hats. Are you saying there's something wrong with my hat? I think my hat's cuter actually, to be fair. More plush. Oh, there's Torchic. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm ready to go check out. Caught it. I'm insane. Uh, just finished round four. It was against Mew V Max, and luckily did not prize my Mighty Anna either game, so I was able to take that pretty pretty easily. Uh, I the only awkward thing about being in the uh, lose and out bracket is that you lose and you're out, and so the the tensions are a little higher than they were when you were like 1-0 or 1-1, just because you know, like once you lose, you can no longer make day two. So. My opponents are gonna be a little less happy, and I, I just came here to have fun, and I understand that like it's stressful. It's just a little awkward because we were both pretty quiet. Um, but I did take that, it's pretty great, felt really good. You know, Zorik is also dark, so I can attach a DTE to him and take a knockout against a uh, Meloetta if I need to. Uh, I am standing behind Angry Morpeko because my roommate's favorite, and I just think it's super cute. They're also really well lit, so it makes it, my face really dark. But, you know, it's exciting. I don't know where anyone else is. We have a friend that is 3-0. He's actually on table one right now. So we're hoping that he's doing really well. He's playing Mew Catchers, which is pretty good for today. A lot of people did not really tech too much against Mew. I did, hoping to see a lot more Mew, um, because that's a matchup that I really enjoy. Anything that's not healing, I'm gonna say that a lot today, because I win by two-shotting everything. So if they can heal and make me like four shot them, I'm pretty much just out. Like you saw earlier, I, I bought some stuff. We can go over it later. I haven't been able to find a place where I can sit down just yet. It's been a little hard. I can't find anyone. This place is huge. So if you ever considering going to an NAIC, bring a friend and like attach a rope to them because you will never see them again if you don't. <laughs> 
just got sat at table 133 for round five, which is, uh, funny enough, Evie's Pokédex number. So I was like, nothing can go wrong, nothing. But I prized Mighty Anna and Snorlax, uh, round, like, game one, and I was just like, of course I did. Thanks, Evie. And... I, so I scoop. I, I didn't get scoop. I, he just had boss every every time because I was only able to find one uh, one Zorua, uh, and so he was just able to boss them up. Um, and the Snorlax just helped me set up early game, and I just couldn't get out of uh, the barrel enough. But so game one went by pretty quickly. But I won. Clutched back game two and three somehow. It's a miracle. So we're still in it three three two. I just have to win out basically. No pressure. <laughs> But I did finish uh, super late, so round's already started, so I gotta go. Can someone please tell me to stop playing decks that always go to time? I don't know why I have the most fun playing single price decks, but... Sometimes I like to have a, like, a mental break between rounds. Nah, let's just go to time every single round. Makes it easy. Um, but let's just hope that we keep facing against easy matchups. Uh, I'll take Lissy, any non-healing version of Viraladon, um, Arceus, boxes that don't play Dunsparce, anything that can't heal. We got this. And if not, we drop and go play the prize ball. We play side events. And we get cute Pokemon plushies. It's a win-win. I played against another Mew VMAX. And my Mighty Anna wasn't prized, thank goodness. Um, it did get a little sketchy towards the end of the game too because I prized my um, uh, Halucha and he played the Oricorio, so I wasn't being able to take a knockout, so I was kind of stalling out. But luckily I was able to get there. So 4-2 baby, holy crap. Four Mew wins, that's the only deck I've been able to play. I am quite literally only playing my Diana and 59 other random cards. That's the only card I've used to attack with besides maybe two other times. <laughs> None of my matchups I've actually used, like, because I a Duraludon, you have to use my Diana. Um, and against the Mew to be unit, it was just special energy hate, so I couldn't do anything anyways. So, literally, my Diana has been the only card I've been able to use so far. Um, hoping I can keep this luck going, because if I can play against two more Mews and do well against them, I'm 6-2, and then I'm going to pray my opponent will let me ID, because I've never made it to a day two before, and it'd be really cool to say that my first day two was at a national. But uh, I'm, if not, I'm just happy that I got to be here. I've made uh, The fact that I made it 4-2 right now with the deck that I made by myself feels pretty good, so... <laughs> oh, round seven just got finished. Unfortunately, I double break, so I am out, which is fine. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting tired anyways. Don't really have it. Would have, I would have pretty much had to go 9-0 in today just to have any chance of qualifying for Worlds. So I, I'm gonna see what my friends are doing because if they're still in, I might just play for fun. But if uh, they're out, I'll probably drop two and just see if I can play like some side events or something. I played against Palkia and just. Good deck for a reason. Super nice guy though. Stings a little bit because uh, last time I was at, I, every time I'm at 4-2, I just don't win the match. So I think the the real answer is just to not lose at all ever, so I don't have to go to 4-2. All right. Well, but now this exciting thing is, is I can walk around and I'm probably gonna vlog way too much stuff. It's gonna be like an eight hour vlog. I like it's focusing on people behind me and not me, but that's fine. Good, good. Please, maybe me. Alright, I'm gonna go find everyone now. Alright, day two check! None of us. It's okay. I choked. We get to play retro now. And drink an in Tyson's case chocolate milk. Yeah, I get to drink chocolate milk. Oh, I didn't buy any chocolate milk yet! Unfortunately, I'll drop, but this is okay because now I get to show you all the cool stuff that I bought. I'm hoping I can film some of the like merch places tomorrow, but. If I filmed it today, it would have been like five minutes being like, ooh, ooh, and then seeing the price, like the pricing, like, ooh. <laughs> Alright guys, we're 805, don't forget. <laughs> hey, no leaks. I really hope there's someone in there who's just like, built it. I've been expecting you. <laughs> they just stole their breakfast. They just stole their breakfast. That's so funny to me. That's so hysterical. Okay, well, I'm only like 12 hours late, but let's do, let's do an overhaul of the loot. I'm that you get. Okay, no one asked. Okay, I would have recorded this a lot earlier, but I just didn't care. So here's the loot bag. It's super cool. It's way different than regionals, which I should have known because I watched other people buy. But I guess first things first, you get your playmat, which is really clean. Um, I could have sworn EUICs had like a black border around theirs. We're just not cool. Oh, mine's like falling apart. That's fine. Competitor. I like pretended to compete. I like attempted. 
<laughs> it's like, I, there was an attempt. Okay, and involved with that, I guess the promo, which I think is pretty cool, is a, uh, it's just a quick ball. It's pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna play set of them, but it's nice to have. But mine's uh, mine was damaged a little bit, but they said you couldn't switch them out. Um, and then you get a hat, which I thought only VGC people got, but I guess for internationals you get both. Or they forgot, which is great. I did flirt with the person there. Uh, here's the deck box. It's all You're going to see a very big theme. But here's a deck box I probably will not use because I don't really care. Um, so apparently you were supposed to wear this <laughs> around your neck the entire day. Um, I did not. Um, I had the wristband though, so we're fine. Because you were supposed to take this lanyard and attach the two. And that would make sense as to why everyone else was wearing it. But they didn't tell me. So... I know, because it was like at the last minute, they're like, you're supposed to wear that. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, you also get a pin, which is super cute, but I'm not going to wear it because I feel like I'll lose it. And then you get two things of sleeves. Oh, they're backwards. So as you can tell, they really like the starters. But it's super cool. This hat is awesome. So that's pretty much everything you get from the loot. I got a napkin in there. Um, and then, hold on. And this is what I got from the Pokemon Center. This is super cute. The bag itself was worth it. You got it free with any purchase, so that kind of like threw me over the edge because I had to get it. Um, however, this was this is from a third party vendor. I told myself I wasn't allowed to buy any plush. But look at this, Christmas Eevee. You're gonna you're gonna look at this and tell me I couldn't afford this because I couldn't. But it's adorable. And then I got. I thought this was cool because I've never been to an internationals before or like a nationals. So I wanted to get a, like a deck box because I always see like a bunch of like people play that. You know, now that I think about it, this is gonna sound really mean, but every time someone's played like put down a world deck box like this against me, I always beat them. Yeah, you don't take them as seriously to be honest. Yeah, that's don't... why you BM and you don't have a deck box and you're just like you walk around. <laughs> you walk around. <laughs> like, walk around with a pile. <laughs> I got these sleeves from Walmart eight minutes ago. <laughs> no, I think I just want like a memento because like maybe I, I, even though I didn't do the best, I brought my own deck. I made it myself. I took advice from very little people, and I still did really well with it. So like people who are really short or like few people. Okay, so Riley, no one thinks you're funny. Anyways, moving on. My Twitter begs to differ. Oh, your eight pity likes. Um, the last thing. <laughs> I have to edit that part out because she swore. I said shut the fuck. No, the, the, the front I door. Um, okay, and the last thing, which Where I think is the most car? important. What are you doing my bag? It's like back there. Why? Okay, wait, hold on. I, need to get I have to vlog. My content, my eight viewers are so upset right now. Um, then I got this um, apparel hooded sweatshirt. So oh. it's a so it's a jacket. Here is the, this is um, what I got. Oh, it's the same one. Riley's gonna model it for us in three, two, oh, one. Bam! Wow! Woo! Put the hood on. Wait, that's actually so cute. Right? I can't. And help. Riley, how does it feel? It's very cozy. It's very thin, actually. It's like not super thick. <laughs> I just like the sleeves on it. Like you got. Okay, gangster. Like that. It's just pretty lit. Like that's pretty cool. Um, I also got a score bunny hat. Um, because it's they were giving them out for free. <gasps> oh, on the boob. <laughs> So I learned that these are only for kid sizes, and I have a fat head, so this is the only way the score bunny hat's gonna fit. <laughs> Riley, you have a small head. Oh. <laughs> put, it, put it on, model it for the viewers. Yo. All right, Riley, how you feel? Pretty hoppy? Ah. I guess pretty hot. This is what all the kids are wearing now, right? <laughs> like, you want to appeal the kids? kids? <laughs> Rise, me and Riley both made day two. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just playing some retro right now. This is 2011. Okay, so for the viewers at home that don't know what retro is, it's basically just, it's not expanded where you play like all the other cards in one like clumped mess. It's just like you go back to the year 2011. Like that, and the cards that are legal in that specific format are the cards you're allowed to play. So basically decks that did well that year are the decks that we're playing. When I have my mask on, this camera refuses to focus on my, my camera's anti-mask. Or it's focused on Pikachu, either one. I respect the Pikachu one, but. So yeah, so I'm playing Tyrantar with Superior. These are what the cards look like. Like, you can kind of tell that they're already a little like older, which is super cool. I just, you know, makes old people feel better about themselves, Hi. Riley. Uh, yeah, here, look, boop. It'll, so, yeah, there we go. Riley, what are you playing? I am playing Yen Mega Sirachi. Cool. I'll update you on who wins. It's me. It 
dead room. Yay, I outplayed her. We're gonna go to the Pokemon Center as soon as someone else decides to join us for retro. Because I want to look at more stuff. Because I want to throw all my money away. And then me and Riley are eventually gonna go to first step check-in. No, we're not. As punishment for sucking yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna just it's how you, it's not, <laughs> It's where people go to check in to be like to learn how to play the game. So we took a break. We took a break from retro because our friend Nicholas Hackerboard. Oh wait, how do they pronounce that? Half a board. Half a chord. Half a chord is number seven out of a thousand plus masters. And he's going on stream. So we're out here in the front row to support him. We're so excited. Go Nick. We're hoping he takes home the gold because I'll buy it from him. <laughs> He's not gonna love you. Uh, I don't really have any of their friends up there. No. <laughs> you know how some people bring like good luck plushies to put right next to them? Um, have you ever considered putting a full on ginormous life size Piplup? <laughs> I hope he wins. See, it's really cool to see Pokken going on. This is the grand finals for Pokken right now. Uh, VGC's over there and Pokemon Go. We're just waiting for ours to get started. This is just really exciting. Like, if you're just a Pokemon fan, this is definitely something to come watch, even if you're not uh, interested in playing. Look at them fight each other. Oh my gosh, he's destroying him. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I don't know what any of this means. I played the VGC as like a kid, but like say it. That's my son! <laughs> there he is! He's wearing the green shirt for the viewers at home. He's playing Mew V Max. Oh, where's my favorite? Right, yeah. Right. That right, one. That one. <laughs> the one with the long hair. So, um, fun fact, when you're wearing a shirt that has any other logos on it, they force you to wear a Play Pokemon shirt. I think you get to keep it, though. So, Nick just scored a free shirt. So, even if he loses every match from here on out, free shirt. <laughs> We're very excited for him. And we got the announcers up there. This is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, six hours later, we're still playing retro. Okay, wait, but last time we were over here. Oh, right. And then we watched um, our friend Nick get bodied on stream. It's okay. Uh, he still has a chance to get top 32, so we're just still playing. This is uh, one of the mats you can get from the Pokemon Center. I'm still not sure if I want to buy it or not. Because I already have. Retro Cave on Twitter. Right. Right. Banned for self promo. Uh, because you already get it like a competitor one. I think I'll pass on this one, honestly. I'm not, like, maybe if I had done better. But yeah, I'm playing the Spice. It's an EV deck. Um, because. It's, I'm required by law. If there's an EV deck, I have to play it. Every time I came into this room, I just was like, oh my gosh, ooh, like every five seconds. So I never recorded. So here's a quick overview of everything. Riley, will you buy me this? No. Okay. <laughs> I want some, I just don't have space for it. These are so cute. Will you buy me these? She needs to stop saying no. Look, they're so cute. Why do the Japanese cards always look so much cleaner? That's crazy. They're so much cleaner than the American cards. Yeah. There's an Eevee card in here. I'm sure they're allowed. <gasps> they lowered the prices. Oh wait, no they didn't, they just moved them. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. 
Might need to start buying those flying Pikachus. I'll let you mark them up. Yeah, <laughs> Mewtwo V Union and Pikachu stonks. Well, <gasps> wait, I have that. That's what, 25 bucks? Good to know. Ice Cube's so cute. Ice Cube. One of these years, I'm gonna make sure that I have enough space so I can bring one of these ginormous ones back. Because how are you gonna say no to that giant slowpoke? How are you gonna say no to taking that home? <laughs> okay, so Riley has a little bit more strain than I do. I just, I need it. Okay, what about that giant pseudo? The card? Yeah. Do you think I can like buy an extra plane ticket and just bring it with me on the plane? So, there was someone who used jumbo cards. Right. <gasps> they never specifically said no. I don't think that's a legal card because it's... Okay. They don't, they don't need to know. <laughs> I win anyways. It's got... It's got the, like, it could beat Mew. It's dark. I want to buy these blind boxes for my room. <laughs> ten times, no, ten times because if I hit three heads, sixty. I'm insane. <gasps> oh, you could get a Flareon in that one. Well, I'm broke already. <gasps> Are these like mini backpacks? Oh, I think I might pick this up. You already picked it up. Look at those little beady eyes. How could you look at this and say no to adopting him? I'm saying no. Or how could you say no to adopting him? Yeah. It's so it's so tiny. You could just yeah. <laughs> FBI. Uh, yeah. <gasps> look at the. Co That's why they put all these Pikachu's over here, where you can't hurt them. <laughs> Throw, throw the Pokeball. Oh my god, there's a yeah, Wait, there's a ball guy. This one's just faded. Yo, ball yeah, guy's going through. He's going through it. <laughs> <laughs> this chip jar is cute. They talk too much. Well, Riley can't get enough of photobombing other people's vlogs, so here we are again. I just finished watching the Masters final, and Azul ended up winning it, which is congratulations. I think he like streams or something. Um, not 100% sure, so go check that out. Goodbye to the Pikachu. <laughs> goodbye to that Pikachu. And goodbye to that Eevee. I'm so sad, I have to go back to my house and it has none of these cute accessories. What am I supposed to do with my life? Well, that pretty much does it for the end of this vlog. I'll probably like recap when I get home, just about everything that went through, but uh, Riley's going on a date. I'm going back oh to the hotel. God. I'm getting some food. And then I have a flight at the butt crack at dawn, so. And then I work. <laughs> but yeah, next time it's gonna be me and Riley at the top tables and then the judges pulling us off so that the actual top people can compete. <laughs>